Hi, in this video we want to look at different types of functions. Uh, this is a kind of video you might watch in your review at the beginning of a calculus class, for example, looking back at the different kinds of functions you've studied in uh, uh, analytical geometry or, uh, or trig. Well, let's start. What's a function? A function is any kind of formula where for every x there is one and only one y. Or an easier way to think of it is uh, the, it passes the vertical line test. That is, if, that if you run a line, a vertical line, across um, the, the graph, uh, it's only going to touch the graph at one point um, anywhere along the graph. For every x, there's only one y. Um, so that's kind of what a, what a function is. There are three basic kinds of functions, as I can tell. Uh, algebraic functions, which are the plus and the minus and the divided and the multiplication type of, of function. Then you have another category called transcendental functions. These are things like sine and cosine and logarithm. They're a little bit more uh, complicated um, than the addition and subtraction type. And then I, I'm going to go ahead and throw piecewise functions on here. Piecewise functions are Frankenstein functions, you know, where you have uh, this part of the graph is from this person, and this part of the graph is from this person, you know. Um, that is to say that different parts of the graph have different formulas that have been pieced together in parts to make the overall function. So that's kind of like a Franken, it's a, a stitching together of, of multiple functions into one, but it still passes the vertical line test. So here's some examples of algebraic functions. Again, algebraic functions use like add, subtract, multiply, divide, and square roots and so forth. Uh, linear functions, that's, uh, these are functions that are lines. Uh, line functions um, are, um, if they pass the vertical line test, in other words, they're not straight up and down, uh, then, then they are functions. Um, they are first degree functions, x to the first power. Anything to the first power is that same thing. 10 to the first power is 10. So x to the first power is x. Um, polynomials, I suppose you might say a linear function is a kind of polynomial where the lead off uh, power is 1. But polynomial functions, as the name suggests, poly means many. So polynomial functions tend to have more than one term and tend to have more than one power. Power functions, I suppose you could say uh, some of them are could be you know, small polynomials where um, basically you just have one power instead of multiple powers, I suppose. But there's some others that don't fit the polynomial formula so well, as I'll say in a second. Uh, and then rational functions are where a function is divided by a function. So these are algebraic functions because they involve plus, pluses and minuses and division and multiplication and so forth. Go into more detail on these, linear, these uh, algebraic functions. A linear function, again, is a function that go, only goes to the first degree of x, x to the first power, which we just write as x. Um, probably my favorite form uh, for a linear function is the y equals mx plus b form, or the slope-intercept form. It's nice because... If you put it in this form, then you know what the slope is. Uh, m in front of the x is, is the slope, the rise over the run. Uh, a number in front of a variable is called a coefficient, just to throw that in that review in there. And then b is the int y-intercept. b tells you where, uh, at what point, uh, a line crosses the, the uh, y-axis uh, at 0b. That's going to be the point where um, a line crosses the, the y-axis in this form. So linear functions is our simple type of, of function. Again, polynomial functions, uh, you might argue linear functions are first degree polynomials, but in general, we think of a, of a polynomial as being however large. I mean, it could be to the 56th power or the 112th power, um, where the, the lead off power tells you the degree of the polynomial. So if the lead off is 56, then it's a 56th uh, degree uh, polynomial. Um, you'll notice that Generally, this should have been n minus 1. I'm sorry, I messed it up somehow. So this is n minus 1. And so they go in decline. So if this is 56, then this would be uh, 55, and then 54, and all the way down to 3, 2, 1, 0. x to the 0 is 1. Anything to the 0 power is 1. And it just whop, whop, disappears. Um, so it, decreasing degrees. Uh, some of these powers, of course, can disagree, disappear. If the coefficient at a particular point is 0, uh, then that term just kind of disappears. Um, this a to the n, a to the n minus 1, you know, 2, 1, blast off, 0, that's just a way of tracking 
which coefficient you're talking about. So the, the a to the n coefficient, uh, a sub n coefficient, is the coefficient on x to the n. And the a to the n minus 1 coefficient is on the x to the n minus 1 uh, power and so forth. Two special kinds of polynomial functions are the quadratic equations, which are to the second power. Um, so they can be expressed in this form. There are other forms. A lot of times they're parabolas, for example, so they can be expressed in, um, in this form. And then cubic equations are uh, third power, third degree um, polynomial equations. Again, uh, if b is 0, then this term drops out. If, if d is 0, then this term drops out, and so forth. Polynomial functions. Power functions, again, you know, the basic one, x to the n, a variable raised to a power, uh, the basic one could, you know, you could consider this a polynomial that doesn't have any, other, any of the other, you know, um, powers. Uh, but um, there are a couple of power functions that, that don't really fit into the variable, in, into the polynomial form very well. So, like, the root function is a fractional power. Fractional powers are square root powers. Um, so the uh, x to the 1 over n is the nth root of x. Then you have the reciprocal function, which is a negative power. x to the minus 1 is the flipping. You flip it, 1 over x. Uh, so these are uh, some different power functions that, you know, they're, they're different enough uh, that we can uh, say, say them separately from polynomials. Rational functions are, are a function divided by a function. And there, with that, you have the, the basic algebraic functions. So transcendental functions include the, the trig functions, inverse trig functions, exponential functions. So we, we talked about power, power functions are where x is raised to a power. Exponential functions are where a, a number is raised to the x. So the variable is in the, in the exponent rather than in, in the base. So power functions, um, the variable is the base raised to a power exponential functions, a constant is raised to a variable. Um, and then the reverse of the exponential functions are logarithmic functions. So to go into a little bit more uh, detail, so these are the trig functions and inverse trig functions. You know the old standby sine, cosine, tangent, and then if you flip one over them, you, know, you have the cosecant, the secant, and the cotangent. Uh, a lot of times you're, you're taking the sine of an angle, sine of theta, or, you know, or something like that. But what if you're given the, the, the sine and you want to get back to the angle. Well, that's the arc sine, the arc cosine, the inverse uh, trig functions. Okay, exponential functions again, I've already mentioned them. This is where it's not the variable raised to uh, a power, but it's a, a base, like a, raised to a variable. Um, those are exponential functions. Logarithmic functions are the opposite. This is where you're given the power and you want to uh, uh, the log is the power, so the y here is is the power. Um, and so a is the base, um, y is the power uh, that it's raised to, and x is the, the kind of result. Uh, so if you want to find the log of x, you're trying to find the power uh, that you have to raise the base to in order to get it. Um, it's a little confusing, I, I've always found. Natural logarithm has to do with base e, which is a very important natural constant 2.718281828, sometimes abbreviated LNX. Again, here we're asking um, if we're taking the log of x, uh, the, the natural log of x, we're asking to what power do we have to raise e in order to get x? So logarithmic functions. Lastly, the piecewise functions. I've already mentioned piecewise functions have different formulas in different parts of their domain. So take the absolute value function. The absolute value function uh, the absolute value of a equals a if a is greater than or equal to zero, but the absolute value of a equals negative a if a is less than zero. So you can see for different parts of the graph, um, you have a different formula, as it were. So that's a review of different kinds of functions.